we are going to learn how to extract an invoice using both document understanding and action center for that let's get started we'll go to yapot studio and start a new process and let's give it a name let's say invoice extraction using du and action center document understanding and action center all right you can give it a description if you need and then click on create once you are in the main workflow hit on manage packages so we require couple of packages which are very very important and i am also going to tell you the project settings that you need to enable for the document understanding and action center to work all right the first one will go with intelligent ocr and this particular you can click on official and select ui path dot intelligent dot ocr activities so this is very very important for let me give you one example taxonomy manager for the taxonomy manager this particular package and for various other activities this particular package is required so i need to install it now remember who people who are using uh, windows 10 for them 5.0.2 is the latest available at this moment but people who are on windows 7 I would recommend you to go with 4.13.2. If you are going with 5.0.2, if you find some kind of an error, then try to use the 4.13.2. Okay, so I need this one, and then I need another package for the because I need to extract invoices. I am looking for machine learning activities. So again, be on the official page. Just type ML, scroll down. You would find something called. UI path dot document understanding dot ML activities. You need this, and then for the OCR, I need Omni page activities. So I'll install this, and then I need uh, uh, what else we need for the Action Center. We need persistence activities, right? So simply say persistence. okay so these are the activities required for the action center to work so let me install this one and hit on save so i have installed all the required packages for the document understanding and action center to work okay so once all of these things getting installed then i'm going to tell you what you need to enable in the project settings that is also very very important now once all the packages has been installed you will be able to if you click on the project tab you will be able to see ui path dot intelligent ocr activity omni page right ml acti ml activities is part of this you will find it and persistence activities all of this packages has been installed okay now what we need we have to enable a project setting so click on this go to the project click on this settings button and then in the general tab you have something called supports persistence so when you are using wait and resume activities for that this one is required otherwise you will get an error so remember to enable support persistence and click on okay so now all the packages and the required settings has been enabled now let's have a look on this particular invoice now you will be interested rakesh where can i get this particular invoice right so for that all you do go to youtube and search for download invoices expo hub i have created a video wherein you this is the video did you download invoices receipts forms and for practice so in ui path itself in the ui path academy you would have a place where you can download all of this so here i have explained it you can utilize this 2 minutes video and quickly download all the invoices in case you have not done it already okay otherwise if you have any kind of invoice even we that can also help you to go through this particular process so we are done now the very first thing what we will do we will create a taxonomy manager that is the very first step in your document understanding so we'll click on taxonomy manager now on the taxonomy manager what you should do now you would find a new taxonomy manager for that i have already created a video because i am having windows 7 and i am using the older intelligent ocr package in my project that's where 
it is showing me a older view however the new view is new view also very very similar and for that i have also created a video which you can look as taxonomy latest taxonomy manager if you search for latest manager expo hub you would find this is the video that i have created how to use latest taxonomy manager you can watch that and very well set up your taxonomy first of all let's create a group name or nothing but i'll give a company name let's say expo hub and click on this tick mark and the next one let me create a category so i am saying accounts department and in the new taxonomy also you can create a similar one which i have already shown in that video and click on this and then add new document type so here i will say invoice and then category everything is selected then i'm going to click on new fields and start creating fields that i need so we'll go with minimum fields let's say invoice number which is a number hit on save i need another field which is invoice date let's say so i will say date and the third one we will go total amount and i can say it's a number right so all of these things you can select and hit on save all right as you require all your fields you can define what kind of data type it requires and as per that you can save it so your taxonomy manager the very first step of your document understanding is created after that you require one activity called load taxonomy so let's drag and drop this load taxonomy and here i'll create a variable and say taxonomy okay one variable is created so one of our first activity is done now the next step in your document understanding is digitize document right that is your next step so let's type digitize document and drag and drop this activity and here i will create a variable doc path similar way i will create a variable for document text doc text similar way i'm going to create another variable for the document object model all right so all the three variables has been created now this particular activity requires a ocr engine so i'm going to use we have installed a package called omni page so i'm going to use the omni page ocr activity okay in case you have you are having any kind of a problem if you are on windows 7 as i said you can downgrade this ui path intelligent ocr activities to the lower one so i am using 4.13.2 because i am on windows 7 in case you are on a higher one you can go with 5.0.2 which is currently available okay so now uh, omni page ocr is available uh, has been added after that the next step in the document understanding is you have to you have to classify the data right classification so we'll go with classification so for that we will use a keyword based classifier below this so first of all we'll use a classification document scope and inside that we'll be using the keyword based classifier simple now let's define this one so let's minimize this and start working on the classify document scope so this one require doc path the first variable and then taxonomy variable and then i need doc text then i need document object model then classification result so let's create a variable i will say classification results okay now we will go with the keyword based classifier this keyword based classifier requires a json file so let's go to the project and let's refresh it and you would find document processing so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this and i'm going to taxonomy.json i'm going to paste it back okay i'm going to rename this to keyword classifier okay and click on okay so once this json file is created i'm going to indicate that by clicking on this box 
and I'll go to document processing and I'm going to indicate that. Okay, so once this has been done, I'll click on manage learning, click on OK. Fail to load keyword data document processing keyword. Make sure that it exists that it contains valid keywords data. Okay, so if this error is coming, reason being because you have copied the taxonomy.json file, you should always delete this and then save it. So that way that error won't come. Hit on manage learning and now you can see invoices has come. Let's add a couple of keywords to understand whether it's an invoice or not. So I'm using the first keyword invoice. Okay, so that is how it will recognize right invoice if the word is there that means it's an invoice. Okay, and then now let's click on configure classifiers. So here to for the invoices I'll be using keyword based classifiers. So you have multiple um, even machine learning classifier. There are so many other classifiers. So I'm here I'm using the keyword based classifier. Okay, so once this is done our third step is done. We have classified the document. Now the next thing that we need is data extraction scope. So let's drag and drop the data extraction scope and let's fill out all the inputs. The document path is our doc path, document text is our doc doc text and document object model is dom and then taxonomy we have created taxonomy classification results is your classification results variable output of the previous activity and in the bracket we have to mention zero because this array we are going to indicate that so zero the first one and then then the output the output of the data extraction should be saved in a variable called extraction results so you can create a variable to store the output okay now the very important activity in the data extraction scope is adding drop an extractor so here i'll be using for the because it's an invoice and the best choice for me would be going for a machine learning extractor but you can go for even other extractors such as you can also use a regex based extractor form based extractor even those things can be used but machine learning is the best one now this one would ask you to enter the endpoint url okay now the endpoint url how do you find so for that in the google all you do is type ui path public endpoints okay and this particular page okay this particular page public endpoints this is where you can get the url so you can see if you scroll down this particular page here you have something called invoices i'm going to copy this entire url and i'm going to paste done now it is asking for the api key now for the API key, all you do is go to orchestrator, hit on admin and hit on licenses and go to robots and services. And here you have something called document understanding. And here is the API key. In case you do not see a API key, you will have a generate key. So click on that and you will have this. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste the API key over here and hit on get capabilities. Okay, simple no error till now now once this is done next point is configure extractor so hit on configure extractor expand this page and now for the invoices i'm going to use all machine learning extractors so i'll select and one by one for the invoice number there is something called invoice number so these are already pre-built algorithms machine learning algorithms i'm just selecting and referring them to the right field for invoice date for this one for the invoice date here we have the date i'll select that now we have something called total amount now for that you will have something called total all right so everything is configured hit on save and our data extraction scope is done so let's minimize this after you extract the data you would like to validate and this time the validation will be done through action center okay we are not using a present validation station rather we'll be validating through a human in loop using action center okay so the invoice extractions will be validated using action center now for that to simply type create okay so if you type create you will find something called create document validation action so this is the activity i need to use create document validation action now this one 
on the left hand side it has got action details in the right hand side it has got document validation data input okay these are the data input that it requires so let's start filling it okay action title so action title i have told you when you go to the action center when a action or a task is created it has a title on the top right same title what title do you want uh, to be shown for example here i have completed couple of actions so you can see please approve the expense so whatever title you want to keep so here i want to say please or, or you can say review or validate you know whatever you want to say validate invoices okay and then it is asking for the priority we'll leave it as medium action catalog now for the action catalog let's go to action center hit on this three dots hit on admin settings i'll go to my folder where i am connected my studio is connected to it folder yours might be default or shared depending on that so i'm going there and i'm going to click on add new catalog you can do it any folder but again i want to keep it in the it folder and here i am going to say invoice extra invoice validation i have created a catalog you can provide a description if you need hit on create okay so once you create this invoice validation we need the exact text how it is written i'll copy that i'll go here in the action catalog within the double code i am going to paste it done now it is asking for action folder path storage details and bucket directory path so for this right for so if you highlight on this it tells you use this property if the entity must be created or queried from a different folder than that of the current process so which folder so i am dealing with the it folder so you can mention it this is not mandatory so i'm going to mention it folder and then bucket name so it is asking about this storage buckets so let's go back to our orchestrator page now in the storage buckets of orchestrator i am in the it folder i'll go to the storage buckets and here i'm going to click on a add storage bucket create a new st storage bucket and here i'll be using the free option which is the orchestrator i'll create a bucket called invoices you can provide a description if you need and hit on add very simple so once the storage bucket is created what i'm going to do i'm going to provide the bucket name what is the bucket name invoices but ensure your spelling and everything is proper invoices and the bucket directory path also will be invoices done so this side is done now next one is document validation data input document path so these are again our same old variables doc text document object model and then taxonomy and then automatic extraction results is nothing but on from the top we have done extraction results that is the variable and then action object so here i will create a variable action object okay so this has been set now create document validation action all the variable has been set properly after that once it creates an action you want to wait right until the user validate for that i'll be using something called wait for document validation action and resume okay so this activity i'll drag and drop again it has similar way it is asking for the data output and the action details action object so just now we have created the variable action object storage details download directory path so where after the processing where would you like to download that particular invoice okay so here you can define it if you need um, otherwise this is not mandatory the local directory to be used for downloading the document associated with the action it's set the document will be downloaded to the given path okay okay let's do that so we'll go to the project folder and uh, i'm going to create let me open that particular folder right click open file location and inside the document processing itself i'll create a new folder and i will give it a name called download okay and i'm going to hit on the shift key right click and copy as path i'll go to the studio and i'm going to paste that particular path do not use a double quote while you did a copy path because it will have the quotes okay so this is done 
uh, remove data from storage uh, that means uh, from the storage bucket would you like to if checked all data associated with the current action will be deleted from the storage bucket okay so we don't want it if you need it you can check that action object again i'm going to use the same variable where the it will become an input and after the uh, validation is done that variable will become the output also so i'm using action object and then document validation data output so here look at this this is very very important if you highlight the validated extraction results confirmed by the user through the action completion so here before that we are using a create documentation validation station wherein the user will go to the actions tab in the orchestrator and he will validate i am going to show that demonstration once he validates that data will be stored in a variable so here you need to create a variable i will say validated extraction or validated results i will say okay simple and then document path will remain the same doc path document text will remain the same doc text document object model will remain the same dom and then taxonomy will be taxonomy and then automatic extraction result is nothing but extraction results okay so all the variables you have created so this is done after you do wait for document validation what is the next thing you want to export the data right so i'll use a export extraction scope just type export and uh, so yeah export extraction results there's no scope so this is what is the activity that i'll be using and here it is asking extraction results so what you'll be using the validated results that i'll be using correct and then data set let's create a variable data set done now the data set variable which is the array of tables which is going to contain the results now i want to print those results so for that to print it i'll simply use a for each loop and here i'm going to say data set dot tables okay data set dot tables if you wanted to understand what is a data set if, if you type data set expo Hub on youtube you would also find a detailed explanation of data set variable what it contains how you can extract data i have created a complete explained video now here i need to write so i'll use write range i will write the output to an excel file i'll simply say write range activity and i'm going to use a workbook okay so that it can create a um, excel file while it is running okay during the process is running i'll give it a name called invoice extraction dot excel sx okay that is the file name i have given so automatically in the project directory it is going to create this particular file uh, that's why i'm using a workbook right range activity and also include add header this is very very important if you need headers and then i need the sheet name okay so the sheet name will be item dot table name so this one uh, because you are using a for each loop ensure you are dealing with data table so you should select the type argument as data table and in the sheet name now if you type item dot table name it should come okay and then uh, the data table is nothing but your item so everything is set now so all the variables we have set it properly everything is created now okay export extraction results and the for each loop and the export so everything is all done now let's run it and see how it is going to extract so before you run remember you have created a variable called doc path okay so here i need to provide the path of this particular invoice so let's open this so i have saved it inside a folder okay so this is the invoice invoice let me yeah, invoice hyphen zero two yeah this is the one for this one i need the entire path hit on the shift key right click and then copy as path go back to studio and here i am going to provide the path so i am dealing with one uh, pdf right now but this can be done for multiple pdf just by utilizing a for each loop okay so th for that also i have a video if you want to do it, document understanding for multiple pdfs 
so while you are doing um, copy path simply do a paste okay do not put double quotes so everything is proper now everything looks good to me let's run it in case there are any errors we will try to rectify that before that let's check the status of our action center which is completely blank now okay now everything looks proper to me let's start debugging the file so the extraction the invoice extraction workflow started now it is in the digitized documents now on the omni page ocr now the classification document is done data extraction started machine learning happening very quickly okay now this is very important create document validation action so it has created a action in the action center now it is waiting for the user to come in the loop validate that particular invoice if all the extracted data are right or wrong he, he needs to validate and once he validates then the next of our workflow would continue right so let's go to the action center go to our unassigned tab and i can see there is a action got created i will click on assign to a user and i'm going to hit on my name and assign okay so once this is assigned i will find that in the pending tab i'll click on this okay so once i click on this i need to validate all of this so all the data appears to be right in case you want to validate you can maximize your pdf and have a clear look all my data is proper 890127 and the date is also proper in case anything is wrong you can always have the option to click on this field and then you can change the extract value you can select some other value and that way it is going to change it for example for this one if I, this value is correct i can highlight this one and it's going to change for here for this example everything looks good so i'm going to hit on save all right so this has moved to pending uh, this has moved from pending to completed now if you have already published this package to orchestrator you do not have to manually resume only because you are on uapa studio you need to manually resume okay otherwise this wait for document validation action and resume will happen automatically if you upload this package to orchestrator for that i have a separate video how to publish a package to orchestrator action center package okay now it has exported and then for each loop is going to run and it's going to print the value to the excel file okay so looks like everything is done now if you go to the project folder and then you can see there is a file which has been created called invoice extraction you can open that particular file where you have printed all the values of the invoice to an excel okay now you can see invoice number then you have the invoice date total amount likewise you can have number of fields that you need from that pdf that can be printed out to an excel or to any other application you want to do okay so you can see this example is very very useful and i hope it is going to help you a lot on understanding how to extract invoice data using document understanding and action center so thank you so much guys for the video uh, for watching this video and we are going to come up with more of such contents so thank you so much you guys have a great day bye bye